Draußen steht Sam Bird, der kurz vor knapp da seine Position verliert. Der letztes Jahr schon hier an der ersten Startreihe stand. Nach diesem Ausrutscher. Auf den geribbelten Randstein gekommen, dann weggedreht. Hat dann rausgeschleunigt, kein verlässlicher Grip dort gewesen ist. More grip at the moment. And that's Sean Galile. Where is that's hit Sean the wall Galile? On the pit exit, that's the first time, and he stalled it. So that's the first time someone's binned it down at the pit exit. Let's see that again. Cold tyres locked up and bang into the wall. Oh dear, that is uh, an embarrassing one. Keep the helmet on. I think he's going now. I think we heard the engine go. He's now changed direction, so not as bad. Three wide, could be about to be four wide, and it crashed. It takes out Polcini and the champion Hubert. Beckman out as well on the first lap. Three into one corner, didn't go. They didn't even get that far. Hubert is going to get sandwiched, very reminiscent of what we saw in Singapore in Formula One a few years ago. And the wheels ripped off in a major way. And that was at an enormous speed. See it again. Coming into the braking zone, Fulcini trying to squeeze him, doesn't know Beckman's on the other side of Hubert. And maybe that was not the most sensible moves on the opening. The second quarter phase of the here jetzt, die on the other side gelegen hat. Allerdings. Auch das wieder ein Unfall der heftigeren, übleren Sorte. Da hat einer das Safety Car verschlafen, nämlich der Mann im blauen Auto. So was darf auch nicht passieren. Dazu sind die Jungs hier in der GP3, in der GP2 schon zu lange unterwegs im Motorsport. Und der hätte sich auch genauso gut rückwärts überschlagen können. So badly with the downfalls into the corners. He gets it turned in. Oh, and a big lock up. Huge lock up and someone in the barriers at the back. That is Dillman, I think. No, it's not. It's Chilton. Oh, no. Max Chilton in the Carlin after such a good first couple of laps. And there's a replay of him going through. And fairly heavy impact with the barriers. So Chilton out of seventh. Hands up in front of his face as he goes into the barriers. Oh dear, now that's not a big impact necessarily, but there's a lot of, uh, of wreckage sand. And the rear wing missing. Looks like a wing. Left so who's, rear corner is... Uh, who's back what off where? Is that Perez? That's and the uh, Barwa car? Alex's car, isn't that it? That is yeah. Van der Garde. So, so where's Rossi? Yes, exactly my <laughs> question. And I'm suggesting that there was contact between the two of them. Yeah, pit lane exit, Rossi's down the inside. No! Well, you know what they say about wet white paint? <laughs> you can now tick the sandy white paint box as well. Turn sharp right Go to the outside. Oh, huge accident. That is a massive accident, surely there on the back straight. I think that's Alexander Alban. The safety car immediately deployed. Yeah, it is on the back straight there. And we're on board with Alban. The man who crashed out of yesterday's race has done so again. Charged through the field, but what happened to Alexander Alban? Oh, my word, he's just lost it. And that is an, such an unusual place to go off. And there is the contact. That is so easy to do. It's remarkable we don't see it so often, but thank goodness he went in to the Tech Pro barrier and not a couple of meters further along into the Armco because it would have been much bigger accident and Alban would have been really caught by surprise then. And we're racing under the floodlights with a lot of wheel spin for Russell and a stall there. No, oh, so close to come and there is an enormous contact there. Enormous contact. That is not, oh man, that was a huge accident. I hope everyone's okay from that. There was Nicholas Latifi not getting off the line and the yellow flag out immediately. I'm amazed we don't see that more often. Watch everyone, amazing reactions there from Lando Norris to get round, but that unsightly. We saw a similar thing in Formula 3 earlier this year. It was Dan Tinkton hit, getting hit there. Oh, that is enormous. That is absolutely terrifying when you see it from Charlie Whiting's point of view. No wonder he was having to duck. It's the uh, second car back. There's the stall. Everyone avoiding. But wait for Maney, totally unsighted. Oh, the first turn, squeezing Rio Harianto. And immediately Jordan King is trying to get alongside. As we've got Peacock in the background there, they all funnel through. Harianto and a spin for Gasly. Gasly goes round and he's clobbered. Oh, horrible accident, eliminating multiple cars.
Yeah, that's a very nasty shot there. Gasly, I don't know if he got contact. I guess he would have done there at turn two sideways, and it was the Arden there that, that clattered him first. That's Nato that's heavily in the wall. But look at Gasly here on the inside. Had a little look at Marcello. Never going to happen that, but he ended up just spinning it. And here he's got to put the anchor on, but he rolls back into the track, and that rear right gets smacked by Nato in the Arden, and then they're all just passengers straight towards that barrier. Yeah, frantic as ever, we can see two cars in the pit wall. There was heavy damage uh, to the car. I'm just trying to... Landing that second Renault car, isn't it? So that's Paul Verhaug, and the other one, who was close to him on the grid, is Esteban Gutierrez. Well, there you see... Yes. Installed car. Oh, my goodness! That was an absolutely monumental shunt. Well, that was... Lewis Rozier, wasn't it? That was yeah. huge. But he steers into the, the store card cross. It, it, we can't quite see who he's... He is trying to dive around the red and white car in front of him, of which there are a, a very large number, unfortunately. So who was he trying to get by? You see him come swerving across to the left. Oh, my word. 